All right, guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated desk setup and room tour for 2022. Even though it's only been two months since my last video, a lot of things have changed in this room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this camera that I'm recording with right now, and I'm gonna bring you guys around in handheld mode so you guys can see everything a little bit better. So let's get started. Okay, so I got my camera, so let's get started with this room tour. So starting over here, I have this coat hanger that I got from HomeSense. Uh, I just have some of the hats that I wear. I have these sunglasses and I also have this bag that I used to use for travel but I don't really use it anymore because I actually got a new bag for both travel, school, pretty much anything. So I'm going to be making a video later this week on that new bag. Uh, but yeah, this is just here for now. Uh, and yeah, so moving over here, I have my closet here. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, inside is actually really messy because I haven't gotten time to actually organize it. So I have some clothes. I have a lot of boxes which are unorganized. And yeah, just a lot of organization needs to happen in here because it's just not in a great state so hopefully i can get some time to do that uh down here is the new bag i'm not really going to go into it that much since i'm going to be making a video without everything with that bag so just going to leave that there over here i have one of the ikea calyxes i think it's like the smaller version so um, this is just a storage unit which is temporary because i'm still trying to find side tables for my bed um, but i'm really not too sure which ones i want to get so i just have this here in place so on top, I have, this is the Eero. Um, it's a mesh system that goes throughout my entire house. It's actually from Amazon and yeah, it's worked pretty well for me. I used to have the Google mesh system, which worked well until it started breaking down. So I decided to try something new and yeah, this has worked really well. If you're just looking for something for an easy setup and just kind of gets going really fast. Uh, yeah, the Amazon Eero is a great way to go. And also on here, I also have this lamp that I got as a gift and yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, you can turn it on obviously and also has a wireless charger, which is nice so I can charge it at night. And on the storage is, as I said, it's temporary. So there's nothing really in here. So I have this binder here, which is like my school binder. I have like an old mouse, just some stuff here. Um, you know, nothing too crazy in any of these because it's just really temporary for now. And over here in the corner, uh, I have my tripod, which I use for my videos. I have my massage gun, which I use for basketball games or like after practicing games. And I also have this LED RGB light in the corner. So whenever I wanna have some more lights on in here, I can actually just turn it on and like kind of brighten this corner a little bit. So moving over to the bed here, um, I just got this bed recently. Like a lot of this stuff is new, like this blanket. Uh, this is from Ikea and actually it's the cool version. So basically it keeps you cool at night. So I don't really like sleeping warm. I actually like to sleep a little bit colder. So this blanket has been perfect for me. And even though I do live in a colder place here in Canada, uh, it keeps me warm enough. So I don't need to wear two blankets or like um, have two blankets at night. So yeah, it's been working pretty well for me. Uh, for the pillowcases, uh, I, I've had these for a while. Um, but I'm planning on getting new ones, hopefully like some gray ones. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to get. Uh, but yeah, I'm just using those ones for now. Um, the mattress I have is actually pretty new. I got it since my old mattress had a, like it gave me a lot of back problems when I woke up. So I decided to get a new one. Um, I got it from Sleep Country, which is like, I guess you could say the Canada's version of mattress firm. I'd like to say if you're in the USA. Um, but yeah, it feels really nice. It's a lot firmer. So um, it's not as soft on my back and I don't really dip into it as much. And yeah, it feels great. And I don't really have any of those back problems. The only problem was that it was $1,500. So pretty much a huge expense for me. And the bed frame that's holding it up is um, one from like the 1990s. Uh, it's actually my dad's old bed frame. Uh, so it's nothing crazy or nothing special at all. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to get a new one soon from Ikea or just some any other brand because this one's a little bit old, obviously. And yeah, it squeaks when you shake it. So it's not the highest quality. Uh, going over here, which is my temporary side table. Um, I just have on here my water bottle, wireless charger, and just my AirPods and wallet. Um, as I said, this is temporary since I'm still trying to find uh, the side tables that I want to use. So this is just here for now. And also in this corner, I have another RGB LED light. So if I do want to light up this corner, I can do that as well with that. And moving over here, if you guys did watch my old video on my desk setup slash room tour that I did about two months ago, um, you would know that my desk setup was actually here. I used to have two monitors and yeah, this has changed quite a bit. So down here, I have my Ikea Calyx, which is storage that I used to not have, but I actually bought this and this has been great for me. Um, so I can hold all of these boxes and have like wires in them. Also have some camera gear, headphones, stuff like that. Mainly just storage. It's not really supposed to look any good, but it is really functional for me. And on top, I just have this diffuser, which I use sometimes when I, you know, when I go to sleep or just want to relax and have a nice scent. I use this one, it's called Clarity from this brand. I'm not too sure, uh, but yeah, it smells good and it works really well. You can also like turn it on and like has lights and stuff. So it's pretty sick. 
And on the wall, you might remember this Ikea pegboard. This is just great for storage and also fills up the wall pretty nicely. So I have like some headphones hanging. I have some notebooks that I write on, some wires, um, and I just have some random tech stuff. So I have like my GoPro, uh, phone, hard drive, just random stuff like that. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I do know some people that don't like how it looks, but for me, it looks pretty good and it's also pretty functional. And beside it, I actually have some things that I just installed. They're like picture frames, but like they're not filled at all because I haven't had time to um, actually like figure out what I want to do with this since I wasn't a trip to California. If you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, it's Lawrence Aiden. Uh, I post all my photos on there. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, um, there's like these white patches in my wall and just like my old paint color is that's because I used to have my TVs here I used to have a big TV here and then I removed it and then I had that small TV which was my second monitor and that also mounted to the wall so there's a little bit of patching I had to do I do have to get some new paint so hopefully I can find this paint color and then just paint it over um, but yeah as I said it's not finished at all hopefully by the next video or updated version of this I can figure out what I wanted to do with this wall here and moving down here, I have the shoe container, which I've seen in a lot of people's setups. It's pretty popular for most people that want to showcase their shoes, but honestly, I'm not really a shoes guy, as you guys can pretty much tell. Um, I have some Lacoste shoes, I have like slides, I got Kyrie's, Katie's, um, nothing too special. Honestly, I just want to make sure that all my shoes are comfortable and they fit, and that's all I really care about. So I just have here, have these here. Um, I mean, they look pretty cool, but yeah, not really a sneakerhead or anything like that. And over here, I have my guitar. I used to play guitar quite often. I used to do lessons and like play songs, all that. I uh, haven't really had that much time to do it. And the main reason it's here is because it's hiding my um, coaxial to ethernet uh, box here, which basically gives me wired internet to my room. Uh, right through the coaxial cable, which is pretty sick. So it goes through my entire house all the way up here uh, Since I am in a dead spot that is really helpful So I get the maximum speeds up here in my room and then above here. I have this IKEA uh, Shelves that I actually bought for only seven dollars each um, They don't look as good as obviously the lac shelves But for seven dollars each you can't really go wrong with them and they are really just decorative anyway So I have like this fake IKEA plant. I have this relax sign uh, this toy Jeep and another fake Ikea plant so it's not really the most important for me to look that good but it does look good enough for just seven dollars well fourteen dollars for the both of them and above my desk setup I actually have these pair of pictures that I got from Ikea for like fifteen dollars uh, nothing really behind them it's just like I've been to New York it's a pretty cool city and honestly I just like how these pictures look and maybe hopefully I can go to London and Paris uh, one time in my lifetime but uh, yeah that's just there to clearly fill the wall above this setup and yeah, let's move on to the setup now, which has changed significantly since the other video. So I'm going to go through everything here, starting on the left side. So here I have my IKEA plant uh, that almost every tech YouTuber has. It's really cheap and yeah, it looks decent. And then over here I have my desk organizer. So I hold some pens since I do all my schoolwork here. I have my RGB controllers for all my RGB stuff. And yeah, I just have some random items just to organize the desk and just not have everything kind of laying around. I mean, this is a new addition. This is actually a clock I got from Target. Uh, it's really cheap, but it looks pretty sick in my opinion. I like how it looks. And it is also an alarm clock, so if I do want to use it for that purpose, I can. And then moving over to more of the main setup, as you guys can see, I do not use a keyboard or mouse anymore, and I don't use a PC. The only thing I use now is this MacBook Pro 2015, which has worked really well for me, especially with all my use cases. I use it for school. I also use it for uh, video editing and photo editing, and it still works pretty well. It does slow down sometimes, but it's good enough. And the reason I do not use a PC anymore, and the reason I do not have a mouse and keyboard is because I really quit gaming a couple of weeks ago, and I just don't really game at all. So I don't really need the PC, I don't really need that power, but I do need a laptop for school and I need it to be really portable. So I did get a laptop that allowed me to do all that so I can bring this laptop, I can unplug uh, these two wires really easily and then just bring it to school and then plug it back in and set it up with my monitor. So that's the main reason why I use a laptop like this. And I actually like this formation because as you guys remember, or if you guys did watch the old video, I did have two monitors stacked on top of each other. So this is kind of a different version or a different variation, but I have an ultra wide on top. And speaking of the ultra wide, this is the LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor. And I know it's not a true ultra wide because it's only 29 inches, actually only two inches wider than my 27 inch monitor, but it does have a narrow as or narrower aspect ratio. So it is more of a ultra wide look and it has worked really well. What I would normally do is have like Premiere or Lightroom on top and then on the bottom I'd have all my files or like Notion or stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of the setup and that's why I have it like this. 
Over here, I have this hard drive enclosure, which is from Yodemaster. I haven't really set this up yet because I haven't had time to find any hard drives. So I'm gonna be setting that up and it's just ready to go when that time does come. Over here, I have this lamp from Walmart. I've had this for a while now. And honestly, the only thing I use it for is to have some light when I'm working at night. So it's just not as dark in here. I also have this uh, coaster, which I put my drinks on. And yeah, that's really everything that's on top of the desk here. And below the desk, you guys will see that there is not that great of cable management. And the reason for that is because, as I said, I need it to be portable. So if I did manage my cables properly, it would be really hard to unplug and replug all these cables or all these wires. So the reason it's like this is just for portability. And also, I'm the only one that really sees this as well. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not looking under my desk 24-7. So this is not the biggest issue for me. And for my chair, this is actually a chair from Staples. I don't really know what it is. I also have this thing which like helps support my lower back. Um, but yeah, it's super comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. Like this setup is really cheap. I think this chair was only like 150 bucks and then this was like 20 bucks. So really good setup. I can sit on here for hours and it does look pretty nice uh, compared to my old desk or I don't actually remember if I had this or if I had my gaming chair. But yeah, this has been a great upgrade for me. All right guys, and with all that, that is the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.